Okay, yeah, what's your what's your rating? Oh, yeah. my rating. Yes. Um, the movie. Yeah, um, I I think that I'd probably. Yeah, it was kind of long and drawn out. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, I'd probably give it um six or six point five. Yeah, sounds right. Sounds reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm. about a six, I think. Mm. Yeah, it was pretty long, wasn't it? Pretty yeah, it long. was. Quite but long. it is trying to tell a story. Yeah. Which I actually do like more than having no, like hardly any story and just mindless action. Yeah, yeah, true. I do like the story elements of this one. Yeah. yeah. It makes the, the characters more interesting and, you know, their motivation and stuff. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Mm. Yes, any more dialogue and screen time for because of the so many characters as well. Yeah, it works with this many characters. If it were, if it was just a mindless action one, without knowing more of the characters, it would have probably been not a great movie. Mm. Yes. Otherwise, you end up with something like Godzilla versus Kong. <laughs> so that was absolutely horrible. You yeah. watch that movie for the kaiju battle, nothing else. Yep. Yeah, but that's like because the story you have was no character, horrific. Yeah. No bad story. This is that's what that's the kind of movie you end up with. So this is like I was trying to, I was trying to uh, look um, um, at a line between uh, where they would and wouldn't. Um, um, interfered uh, with humans, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, that was interesting that they all had like different sort of, you know. Um, well, they ability. explained why they weren't interfere. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, why they didn't interfere with, um, with the human evolution. Like, uh, Endgame, the, the snap and yeah. the Battle of New York and all that fight stuff. Or like fighting Thanos, they mentioned yeah. that as well. Fight why didn't yeah, they fight do that? I like fight how they give the explanation. Yeah. 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 They explained it. Five thousand BC. Mm. Uh, they they gave um, they buy a golden metal knife, which mm. ended up being historical. Mm. Golden metal knife. Yeah, yeah, that that was in the museum. Oh, yeah, it ended up being in the museum, so it became a historical thing when they went to the modern times. Oh right, right, right. <laughs> they they kind of like true. affected history in some way. Because you had that that beginning moment, and then the flash forward, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you see the knife. She takes a picture of it with her phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 A yeah, few yeah. a few thousand years later, right? Yeah. A few thousand years. Later. Yeah. 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 How many years yeah. uh, would, would that knife um, have been in use for, though? They have been in use for. We have no idea. <laughs> it's uh, maybe. <laughs> That does not have to be explained, but we know it's 7,000 years old. Yeah. Just the fact that it's that old is cool. Yes. That knife and then they've got muskets and plow. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. such is life. Um, as um, Ned Kelly famously <laughs> once said uh, before he dropped dead. Yeah. Oh, and Kelly's last words, such is life. Mm. And he dropped it. Well, again, this is a movie, so nothing reflects. All right. Tree tree All right, Bill. Yeah. See you. Have a good night. Yeah. Have, have a good, good weekend. Night. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. See you probably tomorrow for um for Boba Fett. Oh, Boba Fett. The book of Boba yeah. Fett. Oh. Chapter four, right? Chapter four or three? Three, three, yeah. Three. Uh, three number three, yeah. <laughs> Number three tomorrow night. Um, three, yeah. Hopefully, um, more of the twins. That'll be good. Yep. All right. I'll see, right. see you guys tomorrow night. See ya. Tomorrow night. Okay. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye, Bill. Uh, where's, where's my escape button? I can't find my escape button. Oh, there we are. Leave, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. All right, so maybe we, we should get on. Oh, well, Bill already up. gave his call, oh, so uh, if you want to wrap up and raging, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. yeah. it's close to one o'clock anyway. So yeah, yeah, pretty on the face. Yeah, yeah, I quite enjoyed the movie overall. A lot of good um, story elements, good dialogue.
mm. for drama. So give it seven out of ten. Seven. Okay, that's a good score. Yeah, yeah. good. That's a good score. Decent. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I I would I would give it around that as well. Maybe seven. Maybe I'll I'll lift it to seven point five just because as a DC fan, I like the fact that this gave me a lot of DC action that I. <laughs> that I always imagine in my head, but never got to see in a, actually a DC movie. <laughs> Understand? Yeah. Like the Flash versus Superman scene, you know. Yeah. Um, but other than that, like, uh, yeah, I, I do like the the fact that this movie feels very grand, mm. like the grand scale. I think it's it's far grander than any other Marvel movie, oh. mm. uh, in terms right. of scope. Mm. Uh, you know, it spends thousands of years, right? Mm, yeah, so I, I kind yeah. of admire that time. about this film. So, no, it's different, but I think in a good way. Even yeah. though a lot of people say it doesn't feel like typical Marvel movie with yeah. the, because Marvel movies have that mix of like action and humor. This one has yeah. more drama, mm -hmm. um, with a little bit of humor and and you know some action, but I think it's different in a good way. So I'll give it a a seven. Point five. Oh, cool. <clears throat> That's fine. Yeah. Yep. I guess I'm kind of a harsh reviewer, so I'm actually give. I actually was giving this movie a six. Wow. Until I saw the cut in the supposed IMAX version of this movie. Oh, you can't yeah. just I'm drop the score yeah. because of that. You have to yeah. review it based on the maybe the theatrical one that you saw. Yeah. <laughs> Well, then it's a six, but effectively, if you're trying to watch an IMAX enhanced version mm -hmm. on a 21 by 9 screen, which is specifically made for widescreen formats, it looks See, horrible because you have black bars on the sides. Yeah, yeah, but that's because of you, just oh. you, right? Because for the rest of us, it's it's the normal widescreen size, and so yeah. it actually fits I, yeah. perfectly. I ended up putting it to my other screen, which is just the standard 16 by 9. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Which you do get a tiny bit of bars on the top and yeah, bottom. Yeah, just a little bit. Black, the yeah. black line, but, yeah. But the time it keeps changing between the two was just yeah. too jarring. It was still quite annoying to me. Did you guys even I, uh, notice the change? I noticed, I noticed the change, but it didn't bother me. Actually. Yeah, it didn't bother me at all, though. Yeah, yeah it, it, wasn't, it wasn't too jarring um, yeah. for me. But yeah, I did notice it, though. It was like... Yep, uh, but for good. movies, which when I like consistency, that was just horrific. Yep, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. So in terms of the viewing experience, not not as good. Yeah, yeah viewing experience yeah. on the screen, like it doesn't work on either screen because you're either having a widescreen yeah. experience and then it gets cut to a square. Yeah. Yeah. Or have or a have widescreen, a, a small widescreen experience and it shifts to like a bigger. I think square, the shift is... is better, like then because if you. Yeah, the other one you actually lose some of the. I think you actually lose, isn't it? If you zoom in, mm. Mm. Yeah. some of the picture. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, but either way, it doesn't look good on either screen. I was switching between the two, seeing which one would felt better. That I didn't feel comfortable with either. Mm. Okay. But I think if it's a movie, just do it in one aspect ratio. Yeah, it mix I mean, and match. It doesn't work. Yeah, but that means that they they just have to shoot everything, you know, on like IMAX or yeah. just shoot it widescreen. Like it's too expensive then. <laughs> Maybe it's a question well, of budget. I don't know. Two and a half hour movie. <laughs> yeah. Quite expensive. Otherwise, I understand yeah. the consistency. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, in consistency terms, it's just horrific. Apparently, Disney Plus is gonna. Uh, turn or like I think 13 of the movies into this format. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh no. well, only if they have the footage for it. Yeah, I think the only, newer ones, yeah. newer ones they do. Yeah. yeah, only if the cameras which they shot the movie with have that ability. Oh. Hmm. They can't add quality where there isn't any. So if they did mix and match with the cameras, it's going to be a, I would say, a big jumble mess of good bad experience but look surely it's, it's better than having the square format right this is definitely because square you actually lose even more on the sides no one has the square format anymore that's four by three yeah well that's well when we saw justice league signer card that's exactly what happened remember? yeah that that was yeah um so so i'm saying that like this 
this is good because all of us have yeah but essentially TVs. if they shoot a movie in four by three then they could cut it to whatever aspect ratio they need it's the perfect ratio to cut a movie into yeah but then, whatever you, ratio they need. but then you if you cut you lose the the, the top and bottom right yes you do <laughs> so so but that's it, it yeah but it doesn't matter for the director because when they release it then they could choose if they want to yeah, 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 do it yeah, as a yeah. 16 by yeah, 9 if, or if the they want full to IMAX it, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that gives you the perfect TV. ratio for the actual cuts. Mm. Yeah, anyway. But still, it would be a 5.5 to 6. Okay, yeah. so just say 6, uh, round it up to 6. Uh. You round it up to 6. Uh, That's pretty good wow. for you. Yeah. Jeff, next uh, rating. Jeff, still there? <laughs> oh, maybe not. Maybe Steph. <laughs> I'll give my reading then. Uh, 6.5 for me. So, yeah. I mean, I, I did enjoy it, um, especially because it had more of the story elements. But I guess, yeah, it just, I guess for some people, I can understand why they didn't like it because there wasn't that much action in comparison to other yeah. Marvel movies. So um, a bit more slow if, going. So if that was your expectation <laughs> going in, mm. and then it sort of didn't really meet that um, mm. but it's it's pretty good in in terms of the plotting and sort of not giving away you know the villain <laughs> sort of thing oh yeah that twist until the mm, end you know, yes, like that, that, that twist. twist so mm. at least that at least no one spoiled that sort of thing you know yeah. um but yeah it's yeah. it's yeah so it's kind of good to have that twist in the end and then just yeah. set up for the next you know blade or the black knight movie and yeah, I mean, the thing, this is the thing, right? Like, for most of the movie, it just felt like its own standalone thing. But at the end credits, that's when you kind of see a little bit more setup and connectedness to the rest yeah, of the MCU. Yeah, but they were also mentioning it about well, some other movies as well. Yeah, but so but very, small, very small connection. So there is that connection. So yeah, it's that connection. It's like, it's like you know, even if you don't know, it's... Yeah. No, well, they no did mention deal. that the earthquake was a possibility of like yeah. side effect of the blip. Mm. Yeah. How about uh, Jeff, James, yeah. still there yeah. or not? Um, James, yeah. Jeff. I don't know what their ratings were. Yeah, I can give. Um, I think I'll give a. I'll give a, yeah seven point five maybe. Oh, seven is me. Yeah, I like the. Pretty high. I like it. Oh, first of all, right. Jemma Chan was the main character. So oh, you I, like Jemma Chan? Yeah. <laughs> Jemma Chan. I thought she did a pretty good job in this major role. She's known for playing, the, uh, she was in the British TV show. Oh, yeah. She, where oh, she yeah. plays a synth as well. Oh. Yeah, so it's a similar role. She yeah, well. exactly. Okay. She's, she's good at playing that kind of role. <laughs> like yeah. an that android. Was, that was the synth. show Humans. Humans. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Humans. Okay. Like she played the robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she was a robot who so, eventually yeah. has developed feelings. Okay. Yes. Oh, well, same thing as here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so it's practically kinda. the same thing. She was a synth, <laughs> which she didn't it's even it. know it. Exactly. This is probably why they chose her. <laughs> role now. Yeah. But Jemma Chan is practically British, like British. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's her natural accent. Sure. Yeah, that's her natural accent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, like, British. I also because, like it because there's a lot of other um, famous people. Oh, like Angelina Jolie, Angelina, Salma Hayek. Yeah, some of the classic stars. It was pretty, yeah, it was pretty... Star big. started cast. Yeah. yeah. Yep, and the Bollywood actor is actually a oh, Bollywood okay. actor as well. Oh, like yes. a proper one. Uh, okay, 7.5 from uh, Jeff. Uh, IGN is a seven. The, the, the Rotten Tomatoes is the worst ever uh, score for a Marvel movie, 47. Oh, okay. So this is the lowest rated uh, wow, you know, Marvel yeah. movie so far. Yeah. Audience mm. is kind of better, much better. But yeah. the audience was pretty much around the IGN score as well. Like it's mm. true, that's true, yeah. So, so exactly what we said, why people might not like it because of all those reasons we mentioned. Yeah, but um, it's interesting that critics, some critics actually don't like it. So it's on average, either good or bad. 
they can't really make a choice. Yeah. So yeah. sitting at about five. Five. I think what it's yeah, think? that mid mid range. If you, if you average the two scores. Yeah. Yeah. They already averaged the scores to forty seven, but that's practically five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Wow, it's really late. I think uh, we're done.